I'm Mike Tolliver, and we're part of the International Churches of Christ. I know we've all been praying for Eastern Europe in these past few weeks. Today, we have an update on the situation in and around Ukraine from Sean Wooten, who's currently on the ground helping refugees with Hope Worldwide and the European Mission Society in Moldova. About 100 people a night are spending the night here, about 50 adults, 47 kids, almost a thousand nights um, have been provided thanks to your sacrifice in this center. More than 4,000 hot meals have been provided uh, to people who have no home. Uh, God has also blessed us here uh, with the Revive team. But even though we are very busy with the refugees, I'm very proud of the faith of the team. They're going out, they're sharing their faith. Uh, they're taking some of their Ukrainian refugee friends with them, our brothers and sisters. Um, we've had three people uh, become Christians uh, just in the last two weeks. Um, and 65 people are studying the Bible right now. So God is working. Um, we have this chat group where we're posting opportunities for people to come and live um, in each other's homes. There were even situations where people drove from Germany to the border, like 16 hour drives to pick somebody up to then drive them back home. Uh, we track everybody from the church, everyone who's a, a member of our fellowship, we track them as they move across the Ukraine towards the border. Um, right now, Warsaw and Kishinev are kind of like the two transit stations. Most people are coming into these two cities, then they go out to the other cities. Very thankful for all the church leaders in the Ukraine. Uh, they're there coordinating and communicating and encouraging the disciples daily. Um, we're providing food and medicine and transportation. Uh, praise God, the banking system still works so that it's possible to send transfers of like gift cards and QR codes and and uh, amounts of money so that people can go to the grocery stores and pick up groceries. Small groups and Bible talks are picking up uh, groceries, they're cooking at home, then carrying the hot food down to the bomb shelters and feeding uh, all the uh, uh, people living in the bomb shelters, uh, even though these bomb shelters are not built uh, for, for people to live in, uh, but to try and make it as livable as possible. I also just wanted to thank uh, European Mission Society and Hope Worldwide. These are the two charities that we're working with here on the ground. Um, so thank you, European Mission Society. They're providing support for our church leaders. Um, obviously, contribution has stopped being collected, so we need to continue to support our ministers um, so that they can continue to take care of those disciples. Uh, Hope Worldwide is already here on the ground with me right now. And we have major serious partners uh, who trust Hope Worldwide to get these um, goods distributed in the Ukraine as well. Also, a big thanks to Kidogo. Um, thank you, Mike Tolliver, uh, Justin Renton, uh, Roger Lamb, all those who have been uh, amazing communicators. And lastly, um, I wanted to thank everybody for coming on to the prayer times. This world needs a bright light. Um, and there's no light like the light of Jesus, the light of his church, of his kingdom. So thank you for shining and shining so brightly um, at this hour. God is always at work taking care of his children, both physically and spiritually. Thank you so much, Sean, for all you're doing and for taking the time to file that report with us. A teen in the Kiev church was recently baptized. Despite all that is going on in Kiev, sometimes the light shines brightest in the darkness. Please continue to pray for our brothers and sisters in Eastern Europe. And remember that you can donate. The links are on the screen, either with Hope Worldwide or the European Mission Society, who are both hard at work to bring aid to the disciples who so desperately need it at this time. God bless. Be sure to check back with us at the Disciples Today website or the Kidogo YouTube channel for more updates.